On a beautiful Caribbean island, in a beautiful valley, there was once a beautiful town that was home to a lot of beautiful people. Comarillo is a beautiful place, and people of Comarillo are very lovely people, very warm people. Jorge Santiago knows all there is to know about his hometown of Comarillo, Puerto Rico. After all, he used to be famous here for all the wrong reasons. When I was young, I wasn't too welcome in this neighborhood. Jorge used to sell drugs in Comorio. That's why when he came home after several years of living up north, people were shocked at what they saw. I started talking to friends, people who I stole from them, and everybody was asking me, what happened to you? You are not the same. While he was away, Jorge had decided to follow Jesus and God had told him to go back to Comorio and start a church for all his old friends. I saw that if they just had an experience with Jesus Christ, their life would be changed, their life would be transformed the way my life was transformed. And that's how God started working in my life. He said, now go and preach from the place that I took you all from. But then everything changed. September 20th, 2017 was one of the worst days in the history of Como Rio, Puerto Rico. That's the day Hurricane Maria hit. We didn't know how hard Maria was going to be for Puerto Rico, but the hurricane was like this big, and Puerto Rico was this big. In Como Rio, almost every house lost its roof. No one had any electricity. And for months after, if you wanted food or water, you had to get lucky. It was really scary. And I was so heartbroken because I knew my people need help. That's when beautiful things started happening. First, since most people couldn't get water or electricity, Jorge got the idea to start a free community laundromat. We shared the gospel and pray with so many people at the water machine area. And then? Churches like yours sent mission teams to help Jorge put on the biggest vacation Bible school anyone here had ever seen. When I think about God, I think about big. We want to do it this big because that's how God is, big. Como Rio doesn't have many churches, so here, the bigger the VBS, the better. There was singing and dancing and crayons and candy and games and geckos. Yeah, you heard right, geckos. And when it was all done, lots of kids and parents who had never been to church before had heard about Jesus and decided to follow him. To see those people getting baptized, for me, that's exactly what God wanted to get done here in Comerio. And the crazy thing is, you are a part of this. When you give to the Annie Armstrong Easter offering, you're giving Jorge everything he needs to meet people, share Jesus, and start a new church. Yep, your offering is making life in Comorio just a little more beautiful than it already was. When people give to the Annie Armstrong offering, I see that they are not just putting money in a place, but they are investing in people's life, in someone else's eternal life and that means a lot.